the past four years, the Reich has been forced to spend an enormous amount of manpower and equipment hunting down escaping prisoners of war. Well, at least it's rather nice to know you're wanted, isn't it? For us, it is not a matter for levity. There will be no escapes from this camp. It is the sworn duty of all officers to try to escape. If they can't, it is their sworn duty to cause the enemy to use an inordinate number of troops to guard them. The men under your authority have been most successful at this. This man, MacDonald, caught in Senua, escaped, recaptured, escaped, recaptured, or Flight Lieutenant Sedgwick, four escapes. Squadron leader Roger Bartlett, 11 escape attempts. Hendley, the American, five. He even tried to jump out of the truck coming here. The list is almost endless. One man here. Captain Virgil Hills has made 17 attempted escapes, and so on. This is close to insanity, and it must stop! Quiet. Do you expect officers to forget their duty? No. It is precisely because we expect the opposite that we have brought you here. This is a new camp. We have, in effect, put all of our rotten eggs in one basket, and we intend to watch this basket carefully. Give up your foolish escape attempts, and with a little intelligent cooperation, we can all sit out the war as comfortably as possible. Well, well, the goons think they have it all figured out, hmm? Bringing all the troublesome SKPs into one camp must have seemed like a good way to control the problem. Or not. You see, we have a plan. An escape plan, that is, and an outstanding group of gentlemen to carry it out. The first officer is a Scottish chap called MacDonald, a good sort, RAF pilot, a good leader of men. Gets on well with the lads here. I think he'll be valuable to us. Especially when you consider his bravado when that bombing raid got into a spot of bother over Germany.
the fight over. Welcome to Dulac Luft 10, Herr MacDonald. The rules here are simple. It is forbidden to be outside your hut during the night. Violation of this rule will result in your suppression and arrest. Carrying a weapon, attacking a guard, or stepping into the warning wire is both forbidden and fatal. Violation will result in you being shot. The senior British officer here is Group Captain John Rose. He has been authorized by myself to inform you of any other pertinent information. That is all. Hello, I'm John Rose, the senior British officer. You must be MacDonald. Where did the Jerry's bag you? We were over Berlin. The flak was so dense you could almost walk on it. We were hit very hard. Terribly bad show, old chap. Luckily, we have a good escape organization here, so you won't have to stay long. This is for you, smuggled in from Blighty in a parcel. It's a compass. The needle indicates where your next objective is. Use it to locate and speak to the camp's big X. He's coordinating all of the camp escape activity. Our big X here is George Alexander in Hut 2. Look out for the guards when you go outside the hut. Thanks very much. Excuse me, I'm looking for the big X. Well, you've found him. I'm George Alexander, the big X here in Dulagluf 10. I bet you're eager to escape. Yes, I am. What do we need to do? First, we need to get you a pass. Jimmy here will help you. Thanks very much. Hello, Mac. I'm Jimmy James, the camp forger. In order to escape, you'll need a German pass. Now, I can make you one, but I'll need a sample from the goons. I need to check the size of the eagle insignia. If you could borrow one from the guard hut, that would be splendid. I'll see what I can do. Let's see that pass. Ooh, small eagle in...
I'm Piotr Krutopkin, the tunneler. I need your help. I need a shovel. I broke the other one. The goons were clearing snow by the second gate. Try looking there. I'll be down in the tunnel when you return. This hut is going to be searched. You will cooperate. Everybody must remain where they are. Soon have the tunnel ready. Make sure you get the forged pass from Jimmy. Here's your forged pass. Good luck with your escape. Donald, a good attempt, but it would seem you have much to learn about escaping. If you get caught trying to escape by the goons, they'll transfer you to the castle. From there, escape is damn difficult. Security is tight with searchlights, guards, and even a Gestapo detachment. Assuming you can get out of your cell, there is only one way out that we can think of. You'll need to get onto the battlements and slide down the telegraph wire. No one has ever done it, but it may be possible with the right equipment. Hello, I'm Jerry Hastings. Pleased to meet you. I'm MacDonald, but you can call me Mac. Did the goons nab you outside the camp? Yes, they did. I broke out of the camp but cracked my damn ankle on the way down the mountain, so I'm not going anywhere for a while. Here, Mac, take this hacksaw blade. It's no use to me anymore. Thank you. That should be very handy. When you're ready, I'll distract the guard. Damn, the hacksaw blade. 
quickly to stop it. Do you want me to distract the guard now? I'm ready. Here goes. You better get moving. Hey, I need a doctor. Look at my swollen ankle. <coughs> what is it? I demand that a doctor. Nothing. I see your papers, please. Sorry, I can't seem to find it. You are not authorized to enter this area. Attention! All Gestapo and German officers report to the officers' mess. Once on the mountainside, things will be tough. The area is crawling with guards and is swept by searchlights. With no ID papers, getting out of the area will be difficult. So look for a weapon. This should distract the goons at the main obstacle between you and freedom. <laughs> 